We are back in the kitchen with Eric Justice from Payway and P.F. Chang's making some Thai street cuisine. And uh, we want to finish up with what? Uh, one some of my favorites, rice. Chiang Mai sausage, which is, again, sausage. a northern-style dish. Why did I think we were making rice? I'm so well, sorry. Well, we are. Trying to push it's it Chiang Mai it. sausage and pineapple fried rice. Oh, okay, so you had it, it right. Okay, it's a okay. combo dish. Okay. So it's one of my favorites because being from Texas, we eat a lot of barbecue, smoked things, and sausage. Well, this is a very aromatic, light uh, sausage. It's got kefir lime, shallots, lemongrass, garlic, lots of herbs, Ooh, uh, Thai basil and cilantro in there. For time's sake, we made it ahead of time. Um, if you don't want a case sausage, which is a lot more difficult than you want, you can also just make patties like you would a breakfast sausage okay. and, and grill that on the grill. And so we have ours over here uh, grilling up, and in the meantime, we're going to make our uh, make our pineapple fried rice, which will be our base for that. So very uh, standard kind of uh, pineapple uh, uh, fried rice technique. The only difference is, again, more lighter. Uh, the sauce would be different than just plain soy. We're doing a, a little bit of oyster sauce and soy, and then we have a sweet chili paste. Oh, yeah. So uh, a little bit of lime juice, uh, fresh pineapple in there. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. Um, one of the keys to doing fried rice, if you do this at home, is cook your rice the day before and okay. put it in the fridge and let it dry out. Dry rice works a lot better because the sauce soaks it up and caramelizes in there, so you're not really competing Great. with the water yeah. and, the, and the rice. So we'll heat our oil up there. I'll grab the egg, and we're just going to stir fry that egg just a little bit, get that going. And once we get that scrambled, we're going to add a little bit of uh, onion and red bell pepper to it. I love the color to it and a little bit of the crispness that that adds to it. Now, and you is there a particular order? I mean, do you need to do the egg before you do the... Yeah, you always want to stir fry the egg first. Okay. Sometimes I pull that out, but uh, when we're doing a protein fried rice, I would pull the egg out so it wouldn't keep cooking. But this is going to go pretty quick. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is add your rice. And then you want to kind of dry that rice out a little more or toast it. Uh -huh. So you, you put that in there without any of the sauce and just sort of stir that up a little bit. So the rice gets toasty and it starts mixing with the ingredients. And I love that idea of using your leftover rice and it's okay if you overdid it or if it, you forget to put the top on it. That's where it started. It actually started so that they didn't waste product. So at the end of the day, when they had rice left over in the restaurants, They'd use it the next day for fried rice. Oh, okay. So it was a means for not wasting. So once we get that rice toasted a little bit, we're going to add uh, our sauce, which uh, or we'll add this one first, which is a little bit of soy, like I said, and oyster sauce. And that's going to get really that savory uh, base to it. And you're just going to cook that just long enough to let it mix in the rice. And I'm noticing a little bit goes a long way because the more you stir, it's really kind of being infused. Absolutely. You see how small that yeah. was like a, a tablespoon and a half worth of sauce. So almost none. And then this is uh, just a couple ounces of sweet soy and lime juice. And we'll go ahead and add our pineapple if you want to throw that in there sure. for me. And I like a little crunch in mine, so we got some cashews in there. And then we're also gonna we're gonna let that cook just for a second. Just I like this because it's fresh, so I don't cook anything too long. I want the pineapple to be fresh. I want the, the onions and red peppers to be fresh, too. The longer so, we cook it, the mushier it becomes. Exactly, okay. and it loses some of the life in there. So just long enough to really sort of heat it up. So if you'll go ahead and add our cilantro and our Thai basil in there. Okay. And we're going to, again, once the herbs are added, really, really quick. Are you dangerous with a knife? No, I'm okay. Right, why don't you cut me a lime wedge off of that? Okay. <laughs> and I saved your uh, lemongrass over there. Yeah, I'm telling you, so just fun. that is like a. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plate that. On a stick. So you can see just really beautiful color, great there. looking product. We're gonna take our Chiang Mai sausage, northern style sausage, and we're just gonna cut real small slices on there. As you cut that, remind our viewers um, the incentive, why they should be watching your your uh, streaming video. Of other than my amazing cooking? Other than your amazing okay. cooking, Other than yes. learning how to make three great Thai street food dishes, we're going to make a huge announcement uh, that involves a lot of eating, a little bit of adventure, and a really cool opportunity to someone. And I'll just say, riders, get ready. Riders, get ready. Okay. So we put our uh, Chiang Mai sausage on top. And as you can see, as you look inside there, it lots of uh, lots of green phenomenal. in there, a lot of great colors, going to be lemongrass. Very aromatic, not your typical uh, heavy sausage. Eric, thanks so much. Come Thank back you. anytime you want. I love cooking with you. And uh, make sure that you make a date with him tonight to cook with him. They're going to be making all these dishes again, live webcast tonight at 6. We're going to have a link on sonoranliving.com to that website.